I'm, uh, I'm an iconographer, which is, um, which is uh, uh, someone who paints. Um, icons are a style of sacred art. It's not all of sacred art, and, that, and I paint in that style. Okay, so it's a, it's a long tradition, goes back right to the beginning of the, the church, and, uh, and that's what I do. And so uh, I find, uh, I've always been attracted to, to icons. Even when I was a kid, I used to look at them. My dad had art books and things, and I used to look at them, and the art books, and they're kind of spooky looking, but, um, but they were, um, there's something about them that attracted me, and then, then later on, uh, after, oh, I've been doing this for 20 years, so, so I did a lot of painting, you know, landscapes and boats and all that kind of thing, and then sort of the late 90s kind of drifted into this, <laughs> and been doing it ever since. The, the medium I use mostly is acrylic, which is not a traditional medium for iconography. The traditional medium is egg tempera, which is egg yolks as the binder, whereas in acrylic it's a plastic um, acrylic emulsion. It's basically plastic. And because uh, egg tempera uses powder paint, uh, you can you can mix the powder in with the acrylic emulsion and create your own acrylic paints using that method, but I usually, the colors you can buy in the art stores are pretty good. <laughs> when I was initially painting, I painted in oils, but my allergies don't like oils. <laughs> so I switched over to acrylics and I have, uh, you know, a ton of stuff. And, and I did my training uh, a couple of places in the States in egg tempera and traditional medium and all that. And then when I got home, so why would I switch over to egg tempera when I got all of this thing I had to do was learn how to use acrylic to, to get the same sort of effects. You never get exactly the same because the, uh, they're different mediums, but um, something, you know, you wouldn't, you couldn't tell one of my icons from a, an egg tempera one unless you really looked closely. A friend of mine actually, um, she and I belong to the Burnaby Artist Guild, and she had heard that there was this group starting up in the early, um, around 2002, 2003, and she said they're having their first meeting at this church, which is just up the street from me, and they said, why don't you go? So I did. <laughs> and uh, I'd done a few icons, which having no notion about how, to, how they were done or whatever I was doing. So I, I brought a couple, and, um, and that, uh, you know, when you show up at a place, something like that, you're kind of really tentative. You don't want, oh no, let's see them. So we put them out on the table. And um, uh, that was the beginning. So I haven't looked back since. It's um, like any, any um, artistic endeavor, you have to get the training, you have to put in your time, and you just have to keep working at it. So even though I taught school for 35 years and I'm retired, well, I think I work longer now <laughs> during the day that I, that I did when I actually taught school because I get up in the morning and 9 o'clock I'm in the studio and I'll work most of the day with breaks in between doing this, that, or that. I got, right now I have four or five projects on the go. <laughs> so you're in the studio all day, basically. And there's no weekend off, you know, you basically work uh, all the time. Because I just finished a big piece for my own parish, and uh, it was three feet by two feet, and it took me six months, and by the time I was finished, it was okay, I need a break. And I've even heard of iconographers who have something similar to postpartum depression <laughs> because they put so much work into one of these big pieces, it takes forever, it seems, that when you're done, it's like, uh, it's just, they have the same kind of set, uh, you know, mindset that, oh. <laughs> After you've done, you know, hundreds of paintings, and I've done over a hundred icons, you know, it's th you're already thinking of the next one as you're finishing this one. So as soon as this one is done, like, I just finished the this large one, and this one was already on the table. And when this one is done, then I get to, I'm going to start working on the things I have to get done for our exhibition next year. You always do the, uh, the main goal work first. All this has to be done first. Although there are a few iconographers who do it after. Uh, the reason is that you do, if you do work on the figure and all the other things, and then you do the gilding, the gold likes to stick to things. And sometimes, you know, if you've done a beautiful, nice 
a piece of painting and there's a lump of gold stuck to it and you can't get it off, you have to scrape it off <laughs> uh, or repaint and so it damages the, damages the painting.